Today, officially the first day of summer. So that means it's time to dust off your apron if you mm -hmm. haven't already. Grab the burgers and fire up that grill. And who better to show us some tasty recipes than Chef Gabby Dalkin, who has a new cookbook called What's Gabby Cooking? Grilling All the Things. And she joins us now. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me. Yes. Okay, we're going to get to the food in just a moment. First, so what are the top grill foods, you know, in the summertime? Oh, my gosh. Well, the cool thing about grilling is you can literally make anything on a grill. It can act as an oven. You can bake on it. You can do burgers. You can do hot dogs. You can do steak. You can do seafood, vegetables. Like, pick something. I can make it for you on the grill. Plus, mm -hmm. you know what? You're not in the hot kitchen. You're outside. Correct. Mm -hmm. And you're not getting your kitchen dirty, which yeah. is a real <laughs> hot tip. So what are the, oh, speaking of hot tips, what are the top tips to for people when they're grilling? I think people are intimidated to grill if you're mm -hmm. not already comfortable with it. So I would say two things. One, just like learning to turn it on, whether it's charcoal, gas, whatever, feel confident in that. And then I love to set up a two zone grill, which means half of your grill is really hot mm -hmm. and the other half is not so hot. So you can sear something on one side and then move it over and let it finish cooking without burning it and really, you know. And turn it off the right way too. Turn off the grill <laughs> here, but make sure you have the tank off. I as used well. to be a private chef, and I can't even tell you how many oh. times I've left someone's house and I've forgotten to turn off the grill. We've remedied that since I was very young then. But yes, you have, that is <laughs> a good tip. Yeah. <laughs> right, so you've written so many cookbooks. What inspired you to write one about grilling? You know, one of my girlfriends came over and we did an Instagram live together. She was like, "Please teach me how to grill," mm -hmm. and the response from women was out of control. Teach me how to turn it on. Teach me how to do this. Yeah. No, everyone really just needed a really great go-to weeknight resource. So that's what inspired this book. What about pigs in a blanket? You can grill pigs in a blanket? <laughs> okay, so technically this recipe in the cookbook Ooh. is done on a smoker, but you can use your grill as an oven. You just need a thermometer in it to make sure it stays at an even temperature, and then you could do anything. You could put these on a griddle. These are one of my most favorite recipes from the book, and they're really having a moment. Plus, they're stuffed with Tillamook cheese, which is perfection. <laughs> Why? Why are you so high on Tillamook cheese? Well, Tillamook's huge on the West Coast, and it's moving to the East Coast, so you guys are in luck. It's everywhere all up and down this area, but it's just a better cheese. It's The farmers own it. It's meltier. It's just it's just categorically more delicious. Mm. What do you think? These are Breakfast? Really good. Good. I know. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's Tillamook, there's Dijon, there's a little pig in there. Like, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think grilling is so synonymous with summer? Oh, because you get to be outside. Yeah. It's sunny. You're not getting your kitchen dirty. You can have a cocktail or a drink, or maybe not me right now, but like <laughs> everyone else have one for me. It's just like a really lovely way to have people outside gathering around, playing, and then not everyone's just staring at you in the kitchen. And you know what? It's nice to be social around the yeah. grill. People and you can put outside. people to work. Yeah. <laughs> you man the grill. I'm going to go over here and jump in the pool. What, like are, what are some of the biggest mistakes people make with grilling other oh, than not turning off the grill? I would say that the number one thing is flipping your food too soon. Mm. Yes. So when you're doing like a steak or a chicken or a fish, you want it to naturally release from the grates before you flip it over. Otherwise, you lose some of the protein or whatever it is on there, anything. Um, so you really, A, turn it on, get it really hot mm -hmm. before you start, and then wait for it to naturally, naturally release before you flip. And take advantage of the heat of the grill to clean it when you're done. Yes. Just cut a lemon in two and clean it with the heat. Yeah. And, and then it's ready for the next time. And a lot of people like to spray their grill beforehand. Mm -hmm which is a great way of making it nonstick. I like to take an onion and rub it all over before it gets too hot. And then the onion infuses your burger or your hot dogs or whatever it is you have going. And so the nonstick and the onion. No, you can do just, one or the other. Just the onion, onion instead of nonstick. Yeah, wow. one or the other. That's Look good. At you, I, listen, Mom. listen, I wrote a book on grilling. I should know a tip or two. Wow. Thank you so much. And congratulations. Thank on you. That. Thank you. Fun you. having a baby in the summer? Listen, this child is made of pigs in a blanket and Tillamook. It's alarming. Oh. It's so there's a lot of dairy in this baby. Well, thank you so much. You can get a copy of What's Gabby Cooking, Grilling All the Things right now, anywhere where books are sold. We'll be right back. Mm. <laughs>